What's up, everybody? Today, I'm about to break down to you a special track. Uh, this track was made by me and Pablo Groove, and it's one of my favorite. And it sounds something like this. Ah. Oh, yeah, it sounds so awesome. I love that track. Guys, I have big news. It's happening. I've been preparing this for a while now. But guys, this premium pack, it's like nothing you've ever seen. It's got 250 mixed ready drums, some of my best demos. I have stamped it out and I looped them and for you guys to be able to use it for your session. And it's really mix ready. What I mean by that, you just put that thing in there. It's like, it feels like you already have a song. That's how it's gonna feel. Uh, you're, you're gonna also have a hundred juicy K-pop R&B chord where you're gonna get the best of my chord progression. So you can just drag it in and just play it in your session. There's also going to be 50 serum presets for 2025. The trend is moving fast. And I realized that the sounds that I use for my older uh, serum pack is, is good, but we got, we gotta, we gotta keep moving forward. We gotta make sounds that is trendy now for next year. So I've made 50 new presets for you guys. So this is coming all in uh, November 25th. 5 p.m. So check it out. Stay tuned. You're not going to regret it. This one's going to be the best one by far the, from the ones that we released. Okay, here we go. This is the intro right here. We're mm. the verse. Still in the verse. Getting the pre. Building up. forward a little bit and we're gonna go to the bridge section right here Are you guys ready for the breakdown? Uh, there's so much to talk about. Okay, let's start. Um, I was inspired by this. Um, it was a loop, and you know, I did a lot of chopping, effecting, make it sound fun. But this enough. This was enough to get me going. Enough to get me. Okay, I know where I'm going with the beat wise, you know, like BPM, 
the key and all that. So from here, I'm basically building around that kind of like swaggy, rappy, and then we're hitting. Uh, and we're gonna break down the drums right here. So let's check out the drums. So it's going to be a relatively simple beat roof but there's some elements here that really makes this section really tight and solid and it's mainly guys this kick and this snare okay let me give you one tip right here listen to this it's it's hitting so hard and it's got a little bit of punch but it also got some grit but it also has a little bit of tail at the end this is what i mean by when you have a mix ready kick man it's gonna be so good on your mix and your character of the song but when you don't have a good kick and good uh, snare you're just not going to have your headphone your speaker just blasting you know that that's what i'm going for so check this out with my clap and snare it's like so simple but it's got that grit it has a little grainy sound to it you know so make sure that when you pick your sound you really pick the ones that you really like and you tweak that thing until you really like it uh and then let's hit it with the hi-hat then my percussion so because my kick and my snare is not just boom ta do 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 it's doing a lot of boom it's syncopated boom do 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 you know how it kind of it goes like this you know so for that reason, I'm making my top ends, for example, my hi-hats, my percussion, and my percussion feels a little more steady. Then it brings a better balance to your track. So let's hear it with some more percussion. Especially that ta-ta, ta-ta, really gives stability in that, in that groove right there. But in the midst of that stability, I want to bring something that is a little more unique and it's a little more, oh, what is that? You know what I'm saying? So for that reason, I love having one of those throw off percussion stuff that sounds something like this. You know what I'm saying? And right here too, it's like, it's like triplets, right? It feels like it doesn't make a lot of sense, but when you hear it together, it's like this. Let's hear from here. Hello. Here we go. Right there. Yeah. Unexpected. Um, unexpected type of uh percussion. I love that stuff. Okay, now we're gonna hear with the bass. And you never seen this much bass in your life in one track. I mean, what the heck, right? So let's hear it together, just the bass and the drums. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Lots of movement. I'm just going to have you watch one more time. A lot of stuff going on right here and uh let's just break it down one by one i'm starting with my uh brass bass and it sounds like this and this is my stable guy but it's staying one note and it makes it feel like very minor right but dun, dun, right here in the second one right there that makes it feel like okay we're not just sitting on one minor but we're doing that 
flat two type of uh, chord progression in there just by throwing that little thing so subtle changes in your chords even if there's no chord just making your bass do some chord progression it's a really good idea uh, together with my second bass that goes like this Ooh. What is that? That's like synth based stuff, you know? And this is what like Pablo Groove is good at. And I love that he threw these things in there. But now we have boom, doom, doom, do, 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 do. You know, that kind of movement is almost like synth, right? But we have it so low that it feels like a bass. And that's another cool trick that you can use. Instead of just using synth sounds and chords, utilize low end bass stuff to make it sound very round and cool and subtle right there okay but now it feels like we're lacking something right what are we lacking we're lacking that low and rumble and for that reason we're adding the two 808s right here one two let's hear it together with the 808s <laughs> Mm. And you need that, you need that 808 to fill your speakers, your headphones. Now, this guy is just doing a very low, ooh, just low hits, right? But what is this 808 guy doing? This is more like a round 808 that almost makes it sound like a percussion right there. It's almost like a tom, right? 808 tom. Right there. And this is a cool trick. I really wanted to do like a fill, but not like a typical snare fill. But I wanted to do like an 808 fill. And that's how I added here, right here. Yeah. And you notice that it's not just da 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 da. It's got a little delay on the groove that goes da 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 and it throws you off. Once again, one of those throwing off kind of groove that is not right on the grit. Utilize those things to make it into a cool feeling type of feel, okay? So let's go one more time and we're going to hear all this together with the bass and everything else. <laughs> Uh. but it's not that's not the only thing that is going on right there's a lot of effect stuff going on now here it sounds like this it's got a very like edm like dubstep type of thing but here we're bringing back the main uh yeah this guy but it happens subtle here and there. And then we're just closing off again, right? Yeah, just like that. And then other stuff going on right here. Yeah. So that that's more like a chant. Whoop. But here's the guy that I love the most is this guy right here. So basically, we're playing around with the same sound that we used here. But we're making it different so that it sounds like it's together, congruent in the same lane. But sound design wise is different. That's a really cool trick you want to use for K-pop because it's going to sound like it's together. But it's different right here. We're going to hit that. Yeah, I love that. Okay, let's go on. We're adding a little more elements, such as this. Instead of using Hyatt, I always try to look for ways to just be creative with my own sound. So I made um, this kind of percussion go together with my Lee sound that sounds like this. 
Yeah. And now we're adding a lot of character to this sound, right? Once again. With my 808. Doing more hits. My drum's still pretty. Um, simple. And then pre-chorus hits. Okay, let's break that down, uh, that pre-chorus. First of all, we have some chords going on. And some of you guys are like, what do you mean chords? It's because of the bass movement that it feels like we have a lot of chords going on. Okay, I'm about to drop a very, very important trick. Don't be too reliant on making chords on the high end. That sometimes makes it feel cheesy. When you're making swaggy type of song, listen to me right here, it's better to keep the higher end empty and do more chord progressions on the low end, just utilizing bass and some elements such as my bells. So we're going to hear this together. It sounds like this. I mean, that alone sounds so cool, right? We have like a low end, and we got a little, dun, dun. and it just that combination just makes it so swaggy and so like dirty for some reason. And it sounds so good for like girl group stuff. Okay, now we're gonna go to the some of the effects element. We don't have a lot, but. And then. Texture, texture, guys. But we need more rhythm going on, right? So for that reason, we're adding this right here that goes like this. And it's slowly going to build up. It's automating. Woo! Okay, and I know you guys are probably thinking what is that cool like weird sound okay this is a golden tip right here now from native instruments when i use this distortion and i raise the resolution level it makes it really it creates that feedback type of sound and that's why i love using that plugin right there it's probably on sale right now for black friday and so is my stuff guys once again this ultimate k-pop bundle with 250 premium mix ready drums even this song even all the songs that are released on youtube guys uh, all the demos that i released on youtube i went through every single song and i stemmed that out um so that you guys can use it for your songs and it's still and it's still um royalty free okay and also 100 juicy k-pop r&b media chord progression i'm gonna give you my best chord progression so you guys can work with that 50 serum presets for 2025 trend Woo, let's go okay now i wanted to create even more movement toward the second half of the pre-chorus and for that reason I'm bringing in the claps and it sounds like this. Woo! Guys, clap sounds like this. You don't you can't just make stuff like this. It's, it sounds so greedy. It sounds so crispy like you're going to have that sound in that pack um but yeah so with other you know 15 different uh, youtube stuff that i've released okay now we are ready to hit the chorus okay but instead of hitting on one we're waiting a little bit yeah 
Why? Because we're creating anticipation. Uh. Okay, let me show you something. Whenever you're hitting, when if you want to do something like that, it's important that you know that that hit has to come with a lot of different instruments hitting together. What I mean by it, the brass, 808, brass again right here, uh, effects stuff. You see how everything is, almost everything is hidden right here at 195. It's because I want to make it clear that that is when we're hitting all together. So once again, if you want to make that kind of hit, hit it together. One, two, and boom. You notice that my drums here sounded like this. And my chorus is the same, but only one thing was added and it created all the difference and is this snare right here. Watch this. Mm. It's those drum stacks. It's those snare stacks that creates a whole new dimension and makes things feel way bigger, way more, uh, how do I say? It just surrounds your ears, you know, surrounds. So you, uh, be careful not to just settle for okay drums, but always look for ways to make it even better, better, better. That's how I do it with, with my drums. I, I, it's kind of ridiculous, but sometimes I look for the right snare and I mess around with my snare for like eight hours just to get my snare right because it just has to be perfect. Uh, my core, uh, my bass, of course, doing similar things from the verse, but there's something that has been added is this brass right here, and it sounds like. together with my other uh, effects stuff. I mean, there's so much effects stuff going on, right? All throughout, right here. So much going on. So I'm bringing my uh, vocal lead right here. And the rest, hit it again. Rest. Movement, movement. You don't want to just have it keep going. You want to have fun bringing different pockets here and there, filling this area and that area, right? And then here. That too. Let's play with all the effect sounds and sounds like this. Very addicting, but also very swaggy, right? Very edgy sounding. Okay, and I also wanted to show you guys the post chorus. Uh, where is my post chorus? Is happening like right around here. Yeah. Ooh, you hear that? So almost everything is the same, but this guy just made a whole lot of change right just by adding that. It's just adding so much more movement. Ooh. And you know, is that's just a lucky find on my end with the loop. the bridge you know you know me i like to do those bridges with like little thing uh yeah so i'm playing chord progressions with this sound right here pluck hype mouth i don't know what that is but anyways 
and it sounds like this. One thing I love to do is cutting the high end to make it sound lo-fi, okay? And you wanna try to uh, make it feel like very warm and surrounding. That's what I love to do by cutting the highs. Ooh, that chord progression right, right there. Okay, let's hear it with the bass right here. Yeah, I love those twists. And then I have, you know, all the risers are happening in that section. Uh, let's just hear it. Let's go from... Okay, oh yeah, this trick that I wanted to show you. So whenever it comes to moments where it's like all stripped down and naked, be sure to have some kind of movement going on. Ch -ch 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 or something to keep the um the groove still go on without breaking down too much so for that reason i love adding something like this right here that is a big deal right there and then more movement This higher right here, Amru, um, really cool for a uh, hyper pop sound, and then my vocals again. Woo, that stuff, that's tasty. And then we're hitting the. It's almost like a dance break right here. So we we're, we're not bringing the entire groove yet. Because I just wanted to have a fun section. And then, boom, right here. We're going back at it. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. That was the demo. And once again, I'm dropping my ultimate K-pop bundle with 250 mix ready drums, 100 chord progressions, and 50 serum presets. Guys, um, yeah, I would love to hear your opinion. Like, what did you guys think about this beat? If there anything that you learned from that? Um, yeah, and if you like the video, please like. And if you have, haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Alrighty guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.